Hello Virgo, Kelly here, back again with another reading in your love life story sagas. <laughs> I know some of you have been commenting in the past readings and it's like, that's it, I'm done. And then, and then. I get it, you guys totally get it. Let's hope for something good, okay? Let's hope for some positive love messages. Let's hope for the best, but whatever comes out, that's what comes out. So please remember, not every reading will be for you. Some of these readings may or may not resonate. Um, just take what fits, leave the rest if it's not fully your story. Um, of course, you know I'm here every day. I have a reading every day for you. So, um, And personal readings, there's a link in the description box below if you want to get a reading with me. Um, that link will take you to my booking site. And yeah, you can get a reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. Help me to get to the 10,000 mark. And as soon as I get close to that, I'm going to be offering a contest to win a free personal phone call reading with me. All right, you guys? So I'll let you know. I'll post that in my community tab. And uh, as soon as we get closer to that milestone, the sooner we get there, the sooner we get to have that contest. All right, let's take a look at your love life. Let's take a look at the Celtic cross spread, the past, six of pentacles, the present, four of wands. The challenge is the six of wands, driving the reading, the knight of wands. And crowning the hanged man, the near future, the nine of pentacles, you and your advice, the ten of pentacles. The other person, six of swords, hopes, ten of cups, and the outcome is justice with the Knight of Cups. Well, I'm going to have to say, Virgo, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the love messages here for you, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know and love for this reading and into the rest of the month? Let's take a look and see. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world with your person. Express your love. An attraction, okay, Virgo. Somebody is definitely going to be um, trying to come in to make a romantic gesture towards you. All right. So the past energy, past does not necessarily mean a past person. It's just a past energy. Um, there may have been this little bit of give and take, but not a lot. The Six of Pentacles can represent, for me, sometimes it is a little breadcrumbing. <laughs> it can be an energy of like giving to a lot. There might have been a child support situation that somebody was like very focused on or working towards making sure. Um, Six of Pentacles is an energy of giving and receiving help, okay, and generosity. So let's get a clarifying card. We do have here Pisces, Mate, uh, and Libra, okay. So let's get a clarifying card. I feel, okay, there's the King of Wands, always showing up. Mars energy or Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So you might have been dealing with someone in the past, male or female, it doesn't really matter, where the energy of this person was pretty self-confident or self-assured, they came across that way came across as bold, powerful, charming, courageous, um, tried to give, tried to be reciprocal or, or was, or made attempts to be that way with you in the past. Two of cups just popped out. So it could have been like definitely about partnership, uh, duality, balance, um, there may have been some diversity in the connection in the past, uh, or just in general, uh, maybe you both had to, were trying to find common ground with one another in the past. Okay, things like commonalities. There might have been drastic differences between you and another person, but it feels like trying to find, yeah, common ground. Now, Two of Cups. This feels very much like there was a start of romantic love. Okay, there was a there was like two people coming together and agreeing on that maybe starting off as friends or just having a, a dating relationship now it doesn't feel like very serious energy with the two of cups um but i feel like this person here 
I feel like there's going to be some type of communication. This person may come in and express to you how they truly feel about you. Make a romantic gesture. Could have something to do with um, taking some time out to be together, spend time together, retreat away from everybody else in the rest of the world. Okay. Now this could be somebody new you're connecting with. Could it be your past person? Uh, well, the Four of Wands does represent a reunion. So for some of you, um, you know, we have to go with the the way the cards are playing out in the messages. I will tell you there's a very strong attraction here between you and another person. Um, you might be attracting this person into your life or back into your life in some way. Okay. And, and, and how are you doing that? By enjoying every moment of your life fully and being happy. Okay. Um, now let's take a look. So there is a reunion here coming up. There may be a wedding a celebration, a family type of event or something along those lines. Somebody's coming home. For some of you, this could have something to do with family and friends. But I definitely feel um, this could be some of you are reconnecting with a sister or mother, uh, sister or daughter or uh, like a family member or a sibling. And for others, this could be definitely male and female or, you know, whatever, gender doesn't matter. I'm feeling like October, but this is the present energy, okay? Um, the challenge with the Six of Wands is trying to bring this union back together again. That's what I feel, to be successful. Um, this is your person's energy. And for some of you, it's it, it's like an energy of both. That's kind of how I feel, okay? Um, let me just get a clarifying card with this Four of Wands. Because this feels like the 1111. So in the present, it's like you both kind of want to reconnect again and have success, but there's a difficulty. It's a real challenge to do this at this time. Okay, the world. Yeah, have a new chapter. Start over. Start something over. Now, for some of you, this may not be the person that you're like, no, I don't want that person back. You could have met somebody recently that you were starting to connect with and maybe for some of you hoping that this recent person you've been connecting with will kind of like, you know, move to the next level. Okay. Um some of you are connecting with this person online, which I guess with the way the world is, that might be the only option that's happening at this time for some of you. They could live far away from you or be in another part of the world. Um, and that for some of you might be what the challenge is, is what I feel with the six of wands here. How to be, how to make this relation, how to connect, how to make this thing be a successful relationship. Let's take a look here, because you might be in a long distance kind of thing uh, for some of you. For others, it's just even if you're not, it's just an energy of finishing out 2021 and having a new chapter in 2022. Let's get a clarifying card. Yes, yeah, six of wands on the six of wands. Both of you want to have success in this connection and it's difficult. It's difficult, that's all. But I definitely feel like there's some type of reunion or a desire for reunion. Now, look, the Knight of Wands is driving this. It's like super passionate, super, super passionate on both ends, okay? And that's what's driving because somebody I definitely feel like somebody here, now you may be feeling this way about them as well, but somebody here is like super, like, you're yummy. <laughs> um, this is a lusty, free-spirited person. This person is like driven by their, their physical, driven by the physical, okay? They want to come see you. They want to connect with you. You want that. You want to go to this person. You want to see this person. Even if you live next door to one another or across town, there's a very strong, passionate desire. So the hanged man is crowning down here. Okay. 
it's it feels like because it's part of getting a, a perspective it feels like how does this how do we make this happen you know trying to see a different way I feel somebody um, might be needing to make some serious self sacrifices in order to make this um, connection work or make it happen this feels like right now somebody's in this position of right now I'm stuck right now I'm kind of stuck in where I'm at or I'm stuck in this situation um, I'm trying to see my way out of it <laughs> and trying to figure out or like like almost strategize but like try to see it a different way what's the di a different path let's get a clarifying card for the hangman okay three of swords yeah so as to avoid having any kind of breakup or to avoid severing this relationship somebody is really trying to conjure up or see things from a different perspective in order to either recover from some kind of argument or um, a third party situation maybe there was a third party involved and somebody said something to another person and somebody else is taking a look at this like wow somebody broke somebody's heart taking a look at it like oh wait a minute or you know somebody feels their heart's broken and they want to try to change something here now what's coming up in the near future is the nine of pentacles so this is an energy of um self-sufficiency solo pleasure so i kind of feel like going into maybe september in the beginning of september there's still going to be this on your own kind of thing all right on your own there might be communication in the present about making plans or trying to figure out how to get from point a to point b okay um, but i feel like virgo if you're asking if you're going to be with this person you know going into like the beginning of september i don't really feel that here with the nine of pentacles the sun okay but it feels it still feels positive i feel like you, you're going to be in a very good stable positive place going forward um now for a lot of you i mean this can be somebody new that you might be connecting with at some kind of an event that you're going to soon um or somebody that you were talking to and somehow maybe you meet somebody and things have potential to move forward but it's like oh i'm not there's a lot of, there seems to be obstacles that's why it's difficult to have this like have success have this come together there there, there may be some obstacles okay involved in this situation but things look positive with the sun here mm. so i kind of feel like uh give me a second now they're telling me all right August 19th might be a significant date coming up. Let's see what's going on. Two of Wands. Okay. You might be hearing something from somebody August 19th. Could be Leo. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo. Um, let's see this I feel like this has to do with um, travel plans there's going to be some type of connection or communication about partnering up and making some travel plans around August 19th I feel you might be giving this information or receiving it let's take a look and so it's like it's sent and then somebody's waiting for the other to get back to them okay but it's very positive it's a very positive energy okay yeah waiting four of swords okay so nothing really is happening here as far as like actual movement but it feels like somebody is in this position of um, definitely like I was saying, retreat 
Four of Swords is a card about retreat, so this communication or this these travel plans or these plans to get together have everything to do with like you and another person disconnecting from everyone, everything, person, place, a thing, and going somewhere together. Okay, that's that's what I feel like that communication or that the, these plans will be coming up sometime around August 19th, okay? Um, I just heard somebody has to finish something first or sort something out first, okay? This feels like a little R&R, &R, you, and you and this person coming together and having a little R&R, &R, maybe talking about a vacation or something along those lines. What is your advice? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, gosh. Hold on. Oh, keep working, Virgo. <laughs> What are you, whatever you're building in your life at this time, you're, I feel like you're going to be receiving either some kind of investment opportunity or new come or new income or um, a raise, or you're going to get like a flood, like maybe even a gift, a ton of money, I feel. And this feels mostly to do with career and your work. Um, some type of opportunity comes in for you that has to do with like your career or your work you might be the one saying to someone that there has to be a delay to connect with someone because you have like this huge career opportunity coming up that's really gonna bring stability financial gains and stability into your life okay this is like a golden opportunity and your advice here is to uh accept this when this comes in i don't it doesn't feel like it's anything to do with love look page of pentacles again yeah you're getting some type of communication either somebody's offering you a new position or you're you're, you're gonna hit some kind of lottery or come into some type of winnings or um be given like a uh, you might receive a gift maybe money or a car or something tangible do you know what i mean um, let's see what's going on with your person here. They have the Six of Swords. Necessary transition. <sighs> Relocating. Gosh. You, some of you might have somebody coming back home and is going to move in with you. Okay. Um, or they're, you know, it's either coming back home or they're going to move in with you or coming back home to move in with you. But I feel like your person is overcoming some kind of fears here with the Six of Swords. Let's see. It's like necessary in order for something to move forward. Yeah, look, that's this is your person, the hanged man. This is what this feels like. Your person is kind of like, oh boy, if I don't change my thinking <laughs> or get a new perspective on relationship with Virgo or do something different, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be done. And I feel like that's what this person is. Like, even if it's not moving in together, it's like really um, making some moves here, making some moves to come forward, it's making a, a, some self, some sacrifices. Both of these cards are about self-sacrifice. And becoming more responsible. And I don't know why this Three of Swords is here. Like I said, because um, it, it feels like it's just a um, like a message of transition here. Maybe it might not be anything that you said to this person. Some of you might not have said anything. Some of you like this might be all happening with them. yep the star okay this is a healing energy so for some of you there might have been something that happened that's the purpose of this healing card being here um this aquarius we have pisces somebody could be on the cusp <clears throat> um no not on the cusp of aquarius pisces yeah wait what's going on with my brain yeah, Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp. <laughs> anyway, um, 
so the star energy is renewal there's hope inner clarity this person is having like oh uh, like some clarity here feels very hopeful about this connection but i feel like they need to overcome some mental struggles or uh, some fears or things that are going on within them like get out of their their headspace uh, you know what i mean uh, come into the light is how i feel break free so the hope here is the ten of cups so this is like hoping to be a family again hoping to have that support hoping to receive it hoping to give it uh, ten of cups energy is like total love so if you were married to this person in the past and there was some kind of break this is like somebody's coming back home okay or married or not in a relationship whatever um and this is like a hope this is a hope there's a fear that that might not occur but i feel like your person is definitely more hopeful that things can work out than maybe you are virgo not really sure but i will tell you the outset here there's like either renewing of your vows or there's like a legal marriage there's a proposal here and i see you both coming into union but like legally right and so however that fits for you whether same sex relationship civil union okay there's a proposal definitely um somebody coming in and and doing the right thing trying to have a win-win you know being solution oriented virgo this person knows that this is something that you want and i feel like they're going to come in and, and offer this to you truth comes out what is that truth i love you what is this truth i truly do love you uh you know the knight of cups is is very like uh, very charming a charming energy romance proposal it's flowers it's all that valentine's day stuff <laughs> and and i'm saying valentine's day for some of you it might be around that time all right i know you're like i'm not waiting that long well if you love someone you will you know if if, if given a time period right but it feels very hopeful okay and I don't know what you're doing differently in your life. If maybe some of you are not doing anything differently, I kind of feel like this is happening to your person. They're having some kind of um, like a like a, a new view, viewing this this relationship, viewing this situation different. If this is not your person coming home, this is like you and somebody that you've recently met connecting, and this connection is progressing, and maybe they were struggling with things maybe they lost hope in relationships maybe they were in something in the past and it didn't work out but they seem to feel a sense of hope with you and a sense of inspiration with you and they seem to feel like okay i gotta get out of my head and try to make something happen here with virgo that's how i feel but definitely very passionate about you look at this knight of wands lusty very attracted to you let's get a couple of love messages here interesting Virgo huh is that what you want this person is going to make a romantic gesture towards you I feel like at the end like sometime in September is how I feel you are the best thing in my life hmm that's definitely how they're feeling about you I replay our conversations over and over. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, Virgo. Time to decide about this relationship. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Your person is like overcoming whatever issues they may have had or been having. This relationship is moving toward a secret union marriage. Point blank period. decisions getting made i feel you even though we are apart so some of you may be apart from this person and they they can feel that separation the absence is what i'm hearing feeling that absence children are important to this partnership so there may be children on the table uh, somebody may have children want to have children you might have a blended family coming in or spend time with children 
You've learned the spiritual lesson. There's mastery. That's what I feel like is here. Overcoming fears. That's mastering the self. Not mastering other, others, but overcoming the fears. That's how we master ourselves. Right? I remember every detail of that day. What day is that, Virgo? I'm going to give you a couple more cards here. They can't forget some particular time that you were together. And I feel like they want to retreat and, and do that again or be together again in that one particular day. This relationship can stand the test of time. So stability. You're definitely giving off this stability here, Virgo. Okay. With your, with your Ten of Pentacles here. Solid foundation with the Ten of Pentacles. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. First time or again. All right, one more, one more. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. This is your true love. And they feel you are their true love. There is nothing here that's telling me that's not the case. There was a spark when you guys met. Look, when you cheersed, you did the cheers. Look, spark a light between the two of you. Beautiful. Um, charms. It's charm time. All right. I have to give it a really good mix up. Oh, what came out? A bunch. A bunch, a bunch. Aw, what are these dogs called? Like a wiener dog? <laughs> Somebody's got the wiener on the mind. I'm just going to put that right there. My sponsors can kiss my butt. Um, a wiener and a nut. How about that? <laughs> I'm getting a little too candid, but you take that however you want. I'm leaving it right there. Maybe somebody has one of these little dogs or there's a hot dog. Somebody's at a baseball game having hot dogs and peanuts. I just heard that. Or somebody loves baseball. I don't know. Hot dogs and peanuts, like in concession stand or something. Um, even though that's an acorn. That feels very lusty to me. And then there's, okay, a bee. The birds and the bees. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a bird. I wouldn't be surprised if you get a bird. Okay, we have a cactus. All right. Arizona. Somewhere where there's cactus. Cacti. So I don't know how that's going to resonate for you. Um, cacti. What I'm hearing is they hold a lot of water. Water equals emotions. They hold a lot of water. They hold their emotions in, but very prickly on the outside. So you have to be very careful how you tread to try to get to this person's emotions because they're very, they're very guarded is how I feel. And I also have a snake. Ooh. And so this immediately, they're telling me this person is shedding their skin. All right. Somebody's born in the year of the dog, the year of the snake. I can't remember those years. Um... I think like 78, uh, 70, I don't know. It goes up and then it goes down. I'm not really sure. Uh, 78, 1990, um, 1982. Not for all of you. Not for all of you. Early 60s. All right, let's see. Give me another one here. Oh, you have love. Okay, it's so tiny. I don't know if I can show you. It's the word love, okay? Some of you might be receiving, like um, somebody writes love. Somebody's writing love, or it's in cursive. Somebody's name is love. If your name is love, that is so awesome. Or the initials, L-O. It's either an L or an O, a V, or an E. Okay, they're just saying that. Tell them the, like it could be first initial, last initial L, and then there's an O, and then there's a V, and then there's an E. So not all together. It could be separate or it could be together. Yeah, you've got the B, but you're missing the bird. Oh, look at this. Lipstick. I just heard, um, okay, Mac lipstick. Somebody's name is Mac, or it's like McDonald's or Mac. Somebody's buying new lipstick or applying like red lipstick. Looks so amazing on you. Um, I feel like red, it, that might be your favorite color. Or you work in makeup or beauty or something along those lines. I'm going to get one more here. 
Oh, beautiful. Butter. No, wait. This is a dragonfly. Wow. Dragonfly is very symbolic for some of you. If you're getting a dragonfly message here, this means something for you. And I'm feeling like there's massive transformation and spiritual change. If you see a dragonfly or you've seen one uh, just recently, this is your reading. That's how I feel. This is your reading. Um, you know what? Let's get your advice. And then I'm going to end your reading here. Very beautiful cards. Oh, I just heard somebody... Somebody's in the Marines, and I don't know what it would be in the UK, the, whatever in the UK the equivalent of the Marines are. Um, I don't really know the difference between all the military things, but... And somebody lives near the desert. There's cacti and then a snake. Okay, so there's desert. Something to do with being in the desert or living near the desert. And then also somewhere where there's a lot of snakes. And I just heard the name Patrick. Patrick or Patricia. All right, let me see here. What's your advice? Oh my gosh, you have the Knight of Cups. Whew, there's romance. Somebody's coming in. Very romantic, flirtatious. This person's introspective, but can also be quite fickle. A little bit in and out because they're fickle because the knight of cups is driven by the emotions and the emotions change day in and day out this person's not very stable <laughs> they're very emotional and so moody and their behaviors and what they say and what they do is all based on how they feel at the time okay there's an energy here of falling in love and being swept off your feet virgo for some there's a sudden love affair okay be wary of a lack of balance in the relationship. And that's why I was saying you have to be stable. This person's not all that stable. I feel like they might be trying to become more stable. Um, there will be conversations, situations, or some topics that are going to make your heart flutter. Um, this person may be coming in. They have a love of art or poetry or both. Maybe they write lyrics or songs or they they draw they paint or they do something artistic i'm hearing a tattoo artist for some it could be you could be them but your advice here is to let that knight of cups come and enjoy the love and the flirting and the romance don't don't pin your hopes at this point on the knight of cups male or female because um <laughs> The knight is just prince or princess charming, okay? But there is a proposal. You know, like if the knight of cups was coming in just by himself like that, he or she, well, that's kind of like a fleeting romance. But with this justice behind it, this is like trying to do the right thing, good intentions. This person coming in with good intentions. One more. <laughs> that's interesting. Seven of swords. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. Some embarrassing secrets may come out. So this is a warning, okay? Anybody that's coming in, you could have two people. You could be having like someone from the past trying to do the right thing and make things right. And you could currently be connecting with someone who is a Prince Charming, but they come in with this deceit card. The seven of swords so it, it, i don't feel like it's i don't feel like it's um like you're gonna have to determine right um but you definitely need if you're not sure to be discerning about anyone that's coming into your life you should always be that way anyway you need to vet people virgo if you're someone who doesn't and you just let your emotions uh drive you it's okay to have feelings but you know virgos you know, the water signs are very much like, oh, I'm making this decision based on how I feel. Um, some water signs more than others, but Virgo, you are not usually that way. Virgo, you're usually like, all right, hold up. Let me take a look at this. <laughs> Let me analyze the situation and discern if this person's even right for it. They're going to be dishonest. They're going to run away. They're going to come in and run away like what's the deal so that really just tells me like it says here make sure you're being honest with yourself okay and 
Of course, the devil card is here. The illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness. There may be addictions or unhealthy habits that need to be broken. All right, so pay attention to that. Right? All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back tomorrow. Please do go ahead um, and book a reading with me. The link is in the description box below, and um, it's filling up. So I'm there right now. I had to be down to like two days a week. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So love you guys. See you very soon. Take care. Bye.